Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders sick of NBC's big lie about Trump shuts them up with one huge question. Donald Trump has been the target of top Democrats like Chuck Schumer ever since he became ran for president and defeated Hillary Clinton in 2016. Trump was just another celebrity before the election. He did his shows, he did his hotels, and he wasn't really a problem to anyone. That all changed as soon as he picked up steam and started knocking Republican candidates out of the presidential race. One by one he sent them packing and then he did the same for Hillary Clinton and her predatorial husband. That was when everything changed for Trump. Everything that Trump spent his whole life not being, he became. As soon as the Democrats got sick of him, they started with their lies and labels. Everything they could find on Trump in the last 20-plus years would come out. The problem is that the Democrats didn't find much at all. One little tape with some raunchy talk was no big deal, because saying something is much different than actually doing it. An accusation by an adult entertainment wash-up wouldn't amount to anything either because she was just trying to make a name for herself since she was an industry nobody and her attorney seems to have his own problems. Then it became clear that the top Democrats, guys like Chuck Schumer, would start with the name-calling and labeling. People would claim Trump is racist, sexist, and everything else you could imagine. These are all labels that no one has said about Trump until he was facing the Democrats. Just more lies from the people who hate Trump so much but they don't even know why. They can't prove anything, nor can they really explain why they hate him other than the fact that he beat their preferred candidate who ran a pitiful campaign and has millions of people in America who truly dislike her for the history she has with controversial events such as Benghazi. Needless to say, there are people who fully support the president and one of them is Sarah Sanders. She was caught in public by a few reporters and asked about something that Chuck Schumer said about Trump being racist. She put her foot down and stomped the nonsense out of the reporters leaving them virtually speechless and defeated once again. Sarah Sanders is getting really good at this. Politistic wrote, New York Democrat Senator Chuck Schumer appeared on CBS's Late Show Monday night, telling fellow leftist Stephen Colbert that President Trump could begin the process of proving he's not a racist by caving to Democrat demands for full amnesty for illegal aliens. On Tuesday, reporters caught up with White House spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders who was asked about Schumer's statement and she responded with a home-run response, calling the Schumer's offer outrageous and gave two powerful examples to point out the hypocrisy in media and with Schumer specifically. I think that is an outrageous claim, and frankly I think if the critics of the president were who he said he was, why did NBC give him a show for a decade on TV? Huckabee Sanders asked reporters rhetorically. Why did Chuck Schumer and all of his colleagues come and beg Donald Trump for money? She further asked. If they are who they want to portray him as. Why did they want to be with him for years and years in various activities whether it was events, fundraisers, and other things? It's just an outrageous and ludicrous excuse," the WH press secretary asserted. Here's the one time she left CNN reporters gasping for air. Sarah Sanders has become very good at her job and her delivery is firm, puts people in their place, and she's straight up. It works well for her and that probably is why she was listed as one of the top 10 most admired women in America ranking even higher than Melania Trump, but only by one position. Both set high standards for women and they're doing an excellent job in the White House. What's very sad is that the Democrat Party continues to label people things that they are not, or label people simply because they disagree with something, and then they wonder why there is so much opposition to their party. When people are constantly labeled as racist, sexist, or anything elseist, and there's clearly no evidence of this other than a disagreement on something, then that's when people fall further apart. The name-calling, violence, and other behaviors coming from prominent Democrats and liberal followers are one of the biggest problems that Americans are dealing with and it's pushing people apart instead of bringing them closer. Don't they understand that some of their actions make them bullies and people are tired of being pushed around or having agendas thrown in their face? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.